Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you could actually record vertical videos directly from OBS. So if you're going to be uploading to platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, or even YouTube Shorts, you know that it's in a vertical video format. So basically, it's going to look something like this. Instead of being your normal widescreen 16 by 9, it's going to be the opposite. It's going to be a vertical. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really easy to do. And at the same time, there's some really cool things you could do with the vertical video as well. So let's go ahead and see how we could do this using OBS. All right. Now, before we get into the tutorial, I just want to say that this video is really intended for people who've already used OBS before. So basically, you know how to set up a profile, you know how to set up scenes and sources as well. So if this is brand new to you and you are a beginner to OBS, then I do have an entire OBS tutorial playlist that will show you how to do those things. And I'll leave that in the description area below. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and see how we can set up a vertical video recording directly in OBS. So if you are familiar with OBS, you know that whenever it records, it defaults to this widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And this is definitely the ratio that most people record in. But if you wanted to do vertical videos specifically for social media platforms like TikTok, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, or YouTube Shorts, then you're going to actually have to edit that widescreen video in a video editor if you wanted that resolution. However, you can do that directly in OBS without having to go through all those steps. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing you want to do is create a new profile specifically for vertical videos. So I'm going to go here to profile and I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Okay, we'll just call it vertical and you can name it whatever you want. And you can go through the auto configuration wizard if you want. I'm going to say no. So now we have our new profile as you see here. So once you've done that, you could go ahead and edit your scene. So in this case, I'm going to duplicate an existing scene. All right, so we have our desktop too. And this is really important, but very easy. All you have to do is go here to your settings, go to video, and if you notice, there are some default resolutions. And so in this case, it defaults to 1080p. However, my monitor could go up to 2K, so I can choose 2K if I want it. And also the output right now is defaulted at 720p or 1280 by 720. But the most important thing here is that it's at a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is widescreen. And even though OBS does give you some options, it's based upon the graphics card and monitor that you have, you could actually change this manually. So in this case, we want a vertical video. And so we want the opposite of 1920 by 1080. I want 1080 by 1920. And this is what's great about OBS. You could put in whatever resolution you want. So that is the resolution you're recording at. And then whatever the output that you want, the final resolution that you want the video, We'll go ahead and choose the same one. And for most platforms, this resolution will work. So it doesn't matter if you're doing TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram, this should work. And then also, if you go down here to your downscale filter, you can choose from a number of things. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it at bicubic sharpening scaling at 16 samples. And for my frame rates, it default is 30 frames per second, but you could choose whatever frame rate worked for you. So if you have a lot of motion, you know, you're doing video game recordings, you could definitely use 60 frames, but I'm just going to leave it at 30 frames for now. And we'll go ahead and apply and say, okay. And bam, <laughs> we now have our vertical video. And as you can see, things don't look quite right because this is on a widescreen monitor. So it cuts this part off. But the great thing is, as with any other scene within OBS, you could change this. You could edit things. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So in this case, we could go ahead and edit this resolution. You could increase it. You could move it around. And then you can add other things as well. So I already have a different scene that shows you this. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my other scene. And here, not only do I have my screen capture, okay, um, but I also have my webcam as well. So I have my window capture here of a game running in the background. 
I have my webcam and I also have a filter on it as well. So there are a number of things that you could do and I'm just showing you the real simple way. Just change the resolution, set up a few scenes and that is all you need. And then once you finish recording this, it's going to be in this vertical video resolution. And as you can see, you can get pretty creative with this. And this is why I really like using OBS to do these vertical video recordings. If you're going to be doing this on a desktop, because you could do so many other things and use all the available features within OBS. So that is it on how to create vertical videos using OBS. So if you actually have any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my OBS tutorials, tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Gold Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.